now I'm serving in Tesla. Going back, shawty with me, I stepped. And yeah guys, for the first part of this video, all I want you to do is go into your Windows search bar and type in graphics and just straight up click on the first thing which shows up, which is graphics settings. And your window should look something like this with no application added here in the first place because you probably never opened this. And then just simply click on browse and it's gonna open your local disk and then just simply press E on your keyboard so you find Epic Games. Click on Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Windows 64 and then you see all the launch options here for Fortnite and then just click on Fortnite client win64 shipping.exe and add this one. And as you can see now we got Fortnite added here in the graphics settings tab and this is a lot about performance so just simply click on options and then as you can see it's going to show you um, your Nvidia card or I don't know your graphics card overall and set graphics preference and now you can do pretty much system default, power saving or high performance. And because we obviously want to gain more FPS and have more a more fluent, more smooth gameplay, we're gonna select high performance and save and you're pretty much good to go for the first part here. And yeah guys, in this next step I'm gonna give you the best competitive Fortnite settings which pretty much give you the most amount of FPS and the lowest input delay possible. And we're gonna begin here with the display settings. Um, I don't play on 4K, don't wonder. This is just glitch because I'm using a stretch resolution 1750 x 1080, which I can only recommend to everyone because you're gonna get a little bit more FPS. Um, it's gonna get easier to hit your shots and overall also the input delay is gonna get reduced because the render resolution is a little bit lower and more FPS are less input delay. So yeah, if you wanna know how to apply stretch resolution, I'm gonna leave a tutorial of me down in the description and I would only recommend you guys to do it. Um, then next up, I pretty much only use the performance alpha mode which automatically disables all the options here and the only thing which I got a little bit higher than usual is my viewing distance because I play comp. If you wanna go for the max amount of FPS, obviously go on near. Um, but yeah, if you wanna play comp, try to put it at least on medium so you got at least a small advantage and yeah, my textures on low, pretty much just copy everything here and yeah. Then next up with the game settings, the only thing which I disabled here are my records, my replays because um, obviously those are just gonna run in the background and take a huge or put a huge load on your game and it's just gonna reduce your FPS and your performance overall. So if you don't need them necessarily, I don't know, like some scrim servers they require having your replays turned on but if you're not playing any scrims like that or something then just turn it on off and you're gonna save tons of performance which could lead into better FPS. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Those are all the settings I use here. And yeah guys, since there's always people out there in my live streams who are curious about my Fortnite settings and how my game looks so good, how it is so smooth and what am I applying, am I using any extra programs? No guys, it's just simply a stretch resolution in combination with the alpha performance mode and the mesh quality is set on two because I just think these builds look way better than the other ones. I don't know if you ever tried the other builds here on the performance mode. It just looks straight up like mobile and yeah, I do find these builds a little bit more fancy and yeah, this is all the magic behind it guys. So if you ever were curious, what are my Fortnite settings? Here you go. That's why I made this video pretty much because I'm trying to help people, you know, to get the best optimization for the game. And as you can see, this game is absolutely buttery smooth right now. Um, it's kind of hard to <laughs> talk and uh, free build meanwhile in the background. So I guess we're just going to continue now with the next point and yeah, see you in a second. And yeah guys, for the next part of this video, all I want to do is go again into a Windows search bar and type in control and the first thing which should pop up is control panel and then just click on hardware and sound and click on the power options menu and as you can see, I'm using the ultimate performance mode. I know it says it's only for higher end PCs, but trust me, you can use this on every PC and what it will do, it's just gonna push your PC to its limits. So it's always gonna work 100% and give you the most amount of power and FPS in games. And in the first place, this is hidden, this is not available. So you need to unlock this with a CMD command. So what I want to do is go again into a Windows search bar and type in CMD, right click on it and run it as an administrator. And after that, you see this small box here and I'm gonna copy you a comment um, in the description of this video and then just paste it into here. Don't worry, it's not gonna mess around with any settings. It's literally just straight up this high performance mode. And then press enter and it's gonna enable it. And then afterwards restart your, um, this control panel here, like simply close it, or maybe it's gonna apply instantly, I don't know. Just refresh this and now it should be available, the ultimate performance mode, just select it, restart your PC and you should be good to go. 
And yeah guys, now for the final part, all I want to do is go into your Windows search bar again and type in apps. And the first thing which should pop up is apps and features, just simply click on it. And as you can see, the first thing where you should head over is apps for websites. Because those are all the applications in your background, like Google Maps, all that stuff, which you don't need. You, you simply don't need Google Maps on your PC pre-installed or some weird applications which are connected to some Microsoft services, which just will take your RAM and overall affect your FPS in game because your system is moving some RAM towards these applications, which you could use for gaming. And yeah, that's a little bit more technical. Just make sure to deactivate all of these. And next up, head over to apps and features and then just straight up look for some applications which you don't need. I give you an example, let's say you install your video, video editing software and it automatically installs two extra programs for editing pictures, but you don't need them necessarily. Make sure to just deinstall them because they're gonna run in the background and you're probably gonna think, okay, one service is not gonna take too much RAM. It's maybe taking only five to 10 megabyte of RAM, but in combination, let's say 10 services, which each takes 10 megabytes, that's 100 megabytes of RAM, which you're missing on. Um, only because you have these services running in the background. So everything which is not necessarily for your PC, for gaming or whatever you're doing on your PC, make sure to deinstall it and then also um, try to move over to startup. And here you can see, let's say you're experiencing some really long loading times on Windows once you start it. Um, just make sure to pretty much off everything you don't need or deactivate everything here. You don't need straight up once you start your PC. And as you can see, I deactivated some services here like the Xbox App Service or Epic Games or GOG G Galaxy. There's are all some services which I don't need necessarily once I start my PC in the first place. And your system is just gonna boot up um, way faster than before because all these processes are gonna get canceled straight up. And yeah, only the processes you really need, like here my editing software, this is necessarily for my editing software. So I want it in the first place to boot up as well. Those are all for me important services which I need in the first place. So yeah, just make sure to yeah only check the ones you actually need. And that's pretty much it for the last step here, guys. And yeah, <laughs> this is it so far for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This would help me out tons. And if you have any more questions, feel free to ask me down in the comment section. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. Damn. Jasper, I, for real. I might run it up, money long as a mile. Fuck it up, do that shit with a smile. She back it up, then she gon' drop it down. If she bad enough, I might keep her around. I run it up, money long as a mile. Fuck it up, do that shit with a smile. She back it up, then she gon' drop it down. If she bad enough, I might keep her around. I might run it up. The crew rockin' with me.